Good morning to the new members and to the old members that have found their way back to the community. I need you just as much as you need me. As you can see in this morning's update, before we even get into it, Bitcoin is up over 3,572 points. We talked about a first target yesterday on our way up to our ultimate target between 64 and 66K. After getting above the broadening wedge and holding it, we had 61,000 was the first area. And no means that I think it was going to happen in 12 hours. But Bitcoin's up 3,570 points or better than 6.3%. We are anticipating and awaiting an explosive move here for XRP. We're approaching the 59 cent area right at the 59 cent area once again. This is a very, very important update for XRP holders. And the question is how far can we go? We're going to go over a myriad of charts Starting with the January of 24, so we can see where the breakout started. Get to the July of 2023 formation as we broke out of it yesterday. And now we're going to see where that pushes us up to. Right now, our next level is the pivot point we're going to hunt right now at 60 cents. There's no doubt about that. And then above that, the rising channel resistance is 66.6 cents. I still see a very volatile move. I stayed up until 4.30 a.m. tracking all this. And I feel very comfortable. Um with what we're going to go over this morning because I watched this from a real close level last night and I was watching every dip and turn and I'm very, very happy with what I'm seeing right now. So if you are watching right now, please make sure to hit that like button so that YouTube will recommend this update. That is not just for new viewers to find their way here. That could be the way that an older viewer finds their way back home. And what I mean by that is maybe it's not showing up on their YouTube feed. They're looking for my updates or they're looking for the lives. But it's just not showing up until days later, hours later, or not at all. So by you hitting that like button and you could be recommending this video, that'll allow somebody who was trying to find this video, new or old, to find their way back home. So maybe it'll pop back up on the algorithm of an older viewer and then they can find our updates again. So it's very, very important to hit that like button. We'll talk about XRP. We'll talk about Bitcoin, obviously. We'll go over the XP market cap. And then we'll take a look at an article that discusses here at the end. XRP price reversal, price reversal hints at $1 breakout this March. So we'll take a look at what that noise is about as well as I like to bounce off what we're seeing off of the, na the um, national narrative. So we'll take a look at that. But as of right now, be excited. Bitcoin, as I said, don't short Bitcoin until you are 100% certain that Bitcoin is done running. It's already, people have already lost their shirt, short shoes, their top hat, their sunglasses. Now they've lost their, um, their hairband. They've, they've lost it all. They've lost it all. So if you're going short on Bitcoin, I mean, obviously everybody who's gone short has literally lost it all. So pay attention very closely. We're going to go through the technical analysis at finite level. Um, but let me timestamp this very quickly. Good morning. 9.05 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Wednesday, February 28th, 2024. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. And the second best call the station ever made was calling the bottom on Bitcoin. The best call was calling the top on Bitcoin and XRP and a myriad of other cryptos and getting out of XRP at $1.66 and 21 and not buying back in until 47 or uh, 34 cents in 2023. Uh, used to have a 47 cent average, now it's 34.6 after waiting several years. Bitcoin bottomed at 28 or uh, 26,500 approximately, and we accumulated from there, and we are up pretty nicely across the board. But that's for another day. For right now, what we're looking at is Bitcoin's up 3,500 points to 60,573. So what happens from here? Well, we talked about if Bitcoin broke out from the broadening wedge, our first target, and now we don't even need this because we didn't even have to use the ascent. Well, we're going to keep this just so we can see what happened. Um, but XR, or, uh, Bitcoin is broken out of this broadening wedge, and now we're coming up to our first major resistance, and that's at 61,300 now. I preface this by saying first because breaking out of a broadening wedge of this size and you know what? This does it an injustice. Let's get rid of all of this. Breaking out of a broadening wedge of this size 
It gave us a technical target, and I'll measure it so everybody can see. We can go to the widest part, and I, I chose to go from a spot like this because obviously it didn't come all the way back down on another hit. But even if you do something like this, that brings Bitcoin. But we'll give a um. We'll we'll modify this real quickly because we know where it broke out. What is this? Oh, the little spot where it came out after. So let's measure this down. And I like to be precise, everybody. So Bitcoin right now, we're looking for a move up. It's right around sixty six thousand. Uh. 66,252 is the technical target. 61,000 is a pivot point. It's a major area of uh, resistance on the way back up before. It was a nice pivot level. But right now, Bitcoin has a technical move of over 66,000 right now. So there's still 5,000 points left here. If this plays true, and I don't see any reason why it wouldn't. So Bitcoin's running unabated right now. So as I said, even though the relative strength index of Bitcoin looks like it needs to crash, until they can turn that RSI in the shorter time frames below 50, the bulls are in control. And every time Bitcoin comes around that 50 level, and look at this in the three hourly, couldn't even get up there. I guess it did come up there a little bit. It came up to about 41 and then it just pulled back down. It's just been doing that. The bulls have been maintaining control here recently. And now even in the hourly, that's an engulfing candle. So does it look like it's done? Not really. You had a nice burst of volume in the last hourly in Bitcoin at 3,499 Bitcoin. So it doesn't necessarily look like it's done yet. So now we have to look at XRP. Well, XRP is on the verge of 59 cents. What happened in this formation? How are we still consolidating? And how do we go from here? Well, first things first. XRP broke out first layer from the January of 2024 descending triangle, as you can see here. Looks like it's putting in a bull flag now after the push up. That's what it looks like. Um, we're on top of this formation. So that confirmed, even on the back test multiple times, conferred the breakout of the descending triangle and then signaled um, the confirmation when it back tested the very last time at about 528. And now it's pushed out. That opened the door to the July of 2023 formation as seen. We had a technical target where that dark blue arrow is, which it met. We've met that technical target now. Now we're trying to show bullishness by... Um, bouncing and holding I said five, uh, 581 yesterday it's 579 now because it's coming across so I, I'm actually making it 579 so we have to hold 579 and then that would signal the next push up well the next push is 66.6 cents 66.6 cents and now if we look to see um, what we were doing since we've had this consolidation after the push out this is what I've interpreted our uh, formation as. Let me go into a smaller time frame so it looks better. This is what I've interpreted. Um, this is my interpretation of the consolidation. So the breakout now, first layer, once you get on top of this, and it looks like we're close to attempting a breakout. If we do attempt a breakout here, your first target 61 cents. That's the, that's the move from this channel that's formed. This is a bullish consolidation right here. This is a prototypical bull flag setting up right now. So... We came down to consolidate beautifully, and now we're starting to push our way back up. The bottom, if we were to come back down, is right around 574, and now we're trying to push past that resistance point of 59.2 cents. Once you get on top of 59.2 cents and validate it, even if you don't, the technical move up here, and it's a short move for the beginning, is 61.07 cents. Once you get on top of that, then you're wide open and clear to our rising channel resistance and our ultimate target right now to see how we uh, react um to a bullish or bearish circumstance and a uh, showdown so to say it's this rising channel resistance that started in june of 2022 so that's what we're looking at right now if we can get up there and then if this pattern opens up let's just say for you know for conversation and just for the, the heck of it right now xrp does get above 66.6 cents we won't know until we get up there and see how we react but this is the pattern that we would have to start to look at to see if this is what would start to fulfill. Yes, we have a pattern that goes back to January of 2018, converges to March of 2020, then it converges all the way until now for over six years. But this also constitutes the November of 2021 formation. And 
if we take away that six-year consolidation, this is suggesting if we get above the 61.07 and get above 66 and we start pushing up, this is suggesting 80 cents, 80 cents, if you go and finish off properly this pattern from November of 21. And if you see, we've created an inverted head and shoulders, it looks like, within this formation. So this is very, very interesting indeed if XRP continues to move up in solidarity. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what kind of move we have in store this morning. Um, going to get a lot of volatility, I can tell you that right now. You are going to get a super, super um, dose of volatility, though, along this entire ride. So stay strong. We see Bitcoin at 60,300. XRP is setting up right now for that next move. I'm anticipating a first move to 61 cents. And then after that, 66.6 cents, assuming we get on top of that level. But our technical target out of this bull flag that is set up is 61 cents right now. Um, for Bitcoin, it's 61,000. And it's almost ironic that XRP, it's a little bit behind Bitcoin now after the move right now. So I'm, I'm anticipating it to catch up here. But it was all night. Almost like it was pegged to it as a stable coin to Bitcoin because Bitcoin was at 58,200. XRP was at 58,2. Now XRP is behind. Now you would assume it would get up to over 60 cents because it's got to get back to that, you know, cent. It likes to mimic Bitcoin. Even if it's not running, it likes to mimic Bitcoin in the cents, I've noticed. So I'm looking for that target move and it's around 60, it's just about 61 cents. After this bullish consolidation right now. And that's exactly what it's been. We are in a nice bullish consolidation right now. And um, the easiest way to show you it is this chart. This is the bullish consolidation for XRP. We have an engulfing candle right now. And it looks like we're attempting to break out of this area. And if we do, our next move is going to be about 61 cents. And then once we get on top of that, then that would open up the door for our next major resistance at 66. So we're looking for a 3.3% push out of here. Get on top of 61 and hold to confirm the next move to 66 cents. Otherwise, if we can't get out of here, this can consolidate. But this looks like a prototypical bull flag setting up. And with the moment or the movement of Bitcoin, this should be a nice catalyst to allow XRP's price action to continue pumping up. And as you know from yesterday, we went from somewhere around 597, consolidated all the way down to 57. What was this at? 57.5. So we had a nice consolidation up here from the top. We went up to, from the top, we consolidated down about 3.6%. So we at least got a nice consolidation because the entirety of that move yesterday was about 10.8% roughly. So between that and then getting the consolidation, this looks like it's setting up in a prototypical bull flag. Now, I know we're just anticipating a move to go right away, but volatility, folks. Remember the volatility. So be cautiously optimistic, but be optimistic right now because we are definitely set up for another push up. About 3.5% here. I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but 3.5% is that first move out of this, uh, this bull flag consolidation here. And this is a bullish continuation style consolidation. So it looks pretty darn, uh, looks pretty nice right now. So we'll just keep watching this as the morning goes along. XRP market cap is down 0.12% or down 38.2 uh, million at 31.981 billion. We're looking to get above this area now. We're up against major uh, resistance. We talked about this yesterday and for the last several days. If once Bic or XRP gets above this 32.182 billion, and that could be the catalyst to get us from uh, 58 and a half cents right now up to that 61 cent area, and I would expect the next resistance to be up towards 33.69 billion or about 33.7 billion. Once we get up there, we'll be at about 61 cents for XRP, and it looks like it's just a matter of time here to see when XRP decides to make this next push up. It's got every catalyst in the world right now with Bitcoin being up where it's at. It's doing us every favor right now. We're getting everything we need. Um, and while I have your attention, I wanted to read this. So XRP price reversal hints at $1 breakout this March. Please make sure to hit that like button if you are watching this update so that YouTube will recommend this video and allow us to expand our audience. If you're looking to trade XRP and you're like, I need to get out ahead of this before this next leg up and I haven't got any XRP or have any exposure and I live in the USA and I don't know where to buy it. 
Look no further than the video description below. BitUnix for the USA users. It's the lowest spot fee and leverage trading fees. Oftentimes, no spot fees at all. And the lowest uh, futures trading for USA users on the market. It's what I trust. It's what I like to use as well. Since a lot of other exchanges don't allow us because of uncertainty with uh, regulatory uncertainty in the USA. So take advantage of that. That's in the video description below for USA users. It doesn't require a VPN, nor does it make you do a KYC, which is know your customer. So if you're trying to stay a little private, that's a great option for USA users. Maxi is there for the ones who can use it. New users in the USA can't, but if you're already a user, take advantage of the no spot fees and the zero leverage fees right now. Um, and otherwise, if you are in the UK or Australia, or that part of the world, Femax is the way for you. Used to be one of my favorites, but now they don't allow it in the USA. And I'm blessed that I found BitUnix for the USA because the last couple months using that has been a very big eye-opener. And when uphold goes down during the high times of volatility, this exchange never goes down and they've never given up on XRP. So give them a chance. It's all in the video description below and our pinned comments. Or if you're looking to show me personal support, consider joining Tom's Army. Get the cool emoji badge of me being abducted by aliens in month one. And then continue on all the way through two years with the ever-evolving emoji badges. Or consider sending me a YouTube super chat one time per month as this month is coming to an end. To show me that support because I put in an absorbing amount of time. And once again this morning, I'm giving you the information you need so that you can succeed. So XRP price reversal hints at $1 breakout this March. XRP price action shows a strong reversal rally taking off from the 55 cent mark with a 14% jump in February. The XRP price struggles to find the reversal momentum in the recovering market. The reversal rally cements the dominance of buyers over 55 cents and projects a potential bull run next month. And that's the highlights of what we're about to go through, so we know. Following the breakout of a strong resistance trend line, the XRP price stagnated near the 55 cent mark, presenting a consolidation range amidst the recent bullish reversal in the crypto market as it crosses the $2 trillion market cap and the nine Bitcoin ETFs crossed the $2 billion of trading volume, bulls are officially back. Despite the delay in the XRP price action to showcase a sign of reversal, the buyers are finally catching up with a 6.39% jump overnight. Ripple is heading to a recovery rally with investors holding on XRP price prediction to $1. Will Ripple drive the uptrend to $1? As the XRP price chart finally witnesses a surge in momentum, the anticipation of a trend reversal skyrockets. With the Ripple rally completing the rest of the $0.54 cent support zone successfully, the reversal rally ignites a sharp jump. With the XRP price taking a 10% jump in the last five days, the current market price of the altcoin stands at $0.57.85. Cents. As per the price action, the bullish reversal above zone teases a potential jump to the next level at $0.65. Cents. Bitcoin spot ETF market update sparked a widespread crypto rally, including speculation about an XRP spot ETF, further stirring the market. Amidst this backdrop, the SEC vs. Ripple case saw no major developments to influence influ investors directly. A critical date is March 13, 2024, when the SEC must present its arguments for a penalty against Ripple for unauthorized XRP sales and breaching securities laws. Ripple's response is due by April 12th with potential fines based on sales to certain U.S. investors. Judge Torres will assess, will assess XRP's revenues before deciding. As the ongoing reversal struggles to sustain dominance, will XRP price witness a longer up move? Due to, due to the intraday drop of 1.17% in XRP price between two crucial zones, with a high possibility of buyers challenging the $0.65 cent resistance, the altcoin could find a prolonged bull run. Further, the recovering market and a potential development in the SEC Ripple case in the coming months could fuel the next bull run. In such a case, the Ripple market price could reach the long-awaited $1 milestone. And if that happens, I would actually have the clearance and the ability to cut my hair for the first time since last July. It's been eight months. I said I wouldn't cut my hair until XRP hit $1 or cut my goatee. And as we can see, it's getting rather long. Um... And, but I'm blessed to be able to grow my hair like this. At, I just turned 40 in December, so I'm very blessed. Um, so in conclusion here, XRP, we're sitting right at about 5.8, depending on exchange, anywhere from 5.85 to 5.87. So I'll say 5.86. We're looking for that continuation move. If we look at the pattern that we broke out of and what we're searching for, 
This is the 2024 pattern from January. This is our next area of interest is at 66.6 cents. However, that doesn't mean there's not an area above it with the technical target that we will have to break out with the former with the new consolidation. Once we break out of this, which I have no doubt that we should break above 591 here today. Once we get above that, we should push up and start to retest that 61 cent area. And then that opens the door for 66.6 cents. So just remember that while you're watching um, the charts this morning. And then on top of that, if the consolidation continues, remember, if it continues down, we could consolidate back to the bottom of this uh, bull flag. But we really want to try to break out here. This would be a beautiful time to try to break out. We have a nice reversal candle. And it looks like a beautifully timed inverted hammer here where it's gone from 591 down to about, it's come way down here. So if this inverted hammer candle plays out, that next one should be nice volatile move up. We still have on this hourly, what do we have left? 36 minutes and 43 seconds on this hourly. So this is setting up for an explosive move here. Two hourly, same thing, coming off a reversal candle. Looks like a nice inverted hammer. These are bullish continuation candles in the one and two hours. So we'll see how this plays out. We'll see how this plays out. We're looking for an explosive move here. But make sure you pay attention. Don't get too overexcited. XRP, it still hasn't done really anything today. It's barely moved. Still down 0.5% on the day. But it is setting up a rather explosive move here for this, next le for this next leg up. So it has been consolidating hard. Overnight, it consolidated down to around the 575 level. So it has come up about a whole cent from when it came down to the bottom. So pay attention to this. I'm XRP Future Millionaire. If you got anything out of this morning update, please make sure to hit that like button so YouTube will recommend this video. And if you made it until the end, please type in the chat, hashtag be better, do better. Emotionless this morning. Be cautiously optimistic, but we are in a beautiful spot here for XRP to continue to the next step. We just have to be patient now. Have a blessed morning, everybody.